control, large-scale lying, cheating, the result of unethical cultures, and just stories in the news. This isn't about us. Let me see, that's order number 100299. That order is oh, right on schedule. I don't think that it will go out any earlier than the 21st. I understand, but you see, some things come up with my customer, and I was wondering if there was any way... I, I'm sorry, could, could you hold for a moment, please? It's my boss. Yes, Mr. Reynolds? I just wanted you to know how much I appreciate the way you handled that difficult order yesterday. Thank you. You know, I keep imagining you working in that big, empty office across from mine. Mr. Reynolds, I have sales on, on hold. I'd hate for that promotion to go to somebody more deserving than you. Hello? What's wrong? What could be wrong? My boss just wants to show me how much he appreciates me. Oh. Reynolds, he's still on the prowl, never lets up. And his recommendation is the only thing that stands between me and my promotion. Well, that's just wrong. Why don't you report him? Report him? To who? My boss? Yeah, right. There must be someone you can talk to? Like who? Reynolds is friends with the company vice president. Who will listen to me? I'm sorry. It sounds like you have quite a dilemma over there. I just don't know what to do. Anyway, let's get back to your order. I'd, I'd like to see if we can't move that up for you. Uh, no, there's no way. We won't even get the parts here until the 19th. It's just not possible for that order to leave here until the 21st. But he needs the equipment by the 17th. I could lose this account if I don't meet the deadline. And I really need this order to make quota. I'm sorry, but... There's nothing I can do. But you can tell your client that I promise his equipment will ship from here on the 21st. Oh, I've got another call. Thanks anyway for checking. Hello, this is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. This is Mr. Snyder. Hi, Mr. Schneider, I was just about to call you. I hope you were calling with good news. Well, I just got off the phone with headquarters, and they promised that your equipment will definitely be there on the 17th. Great. Thanks so much. I'll send over the PO right away. Bye. Danielle, our equipment will be here by the 17th. You can issue that PO now. Okay, I'll take care of it, Mr. Snyder. Oh, Mr. Snyder, I noticed it's received in your expense report. It was already paid in last month's expenses. I don't think that's a problem, Danielle. Uh, oh, wait, Mr. Snyder. It's already been paid that's on that. It's not a problem, Danielle, okay? Okay, Mr. Snyder. Sometimes we see unethical choices made by others and do nothing. Now, we all know the difference between right and wrong. So why do we turn a blind eye? I don't like it. But I don't need any trouble, so I do what I'm told. My career is at stake here. I need that order. Even if I do report him, how can I be sure anyone's going to listen to me? It's his word against mine. What's a big deal? Nobody will get hurt. Some of my travel expenses never get reported. This evens things out. It's just a day or two late. We'll find a way to work it out. We always do. If I do report him, I'm the one who gets hurt. Besides, everybody does it. It's business as usual. Business as usual. Business as usual. Business as usual, isn't it? <laughs>